What's really going on? It's the one they call Blacksican in Taiwan. Here, back at it again. Let's chop it up for a second about how to get a gym membership and where to look for one in Taiwan. Before we do that, shout out to David Little the Deacon once again for his melodious, is that even a word? It's my word now. Melodious music playing in the background. Love it. Shout out to him and his new setup. Give me you guys a heads up. Hit me up on Instagram at blacksican411. Chop it up in the text or even shit. Give me a call. Uh, if I'm not teaching or building with my son, um, I'll probably pick up. And maybe you will be on the next episode of Test Stream. We shall see. It's summertime, so I got the fan going. Uh, the booty shorts, the uh, Daisy Dukes are out. The mosquitoes are out. And it's time to have fun. So, you want to find a gym in Taiwan. Here's what you're going to do. First of all, we're going to say shout out to Dimitri, man. We love you, man. Dimitri would say, in order to find a gym in Taiwan, just like anything else, you have to use your imagination. Because the imagination is everything. The imagination is God. You are the imagination. Just like anything, go to the internet. Use that Google. Uh, how to find a gym in Taiwan. Shout out to the Formosan Taiwan forum. Where it's like the biggest hub of information for foreigners in Taiwan. Uh, about everything. You know, let's check the forums for that. But if you check that and ask about how to get a gym, there's a lot of talk about, about, dude, this one gym. And it's the gym I started at here called uh, World's Gym, which is, I think, Arnold Schwarzenegger is one of the partners in it. And it's an interesting setup they have there. It's a gym and it has good equipment. It has all the stuff you need with squat racks and stuff for compound lifts and all the machines and even classes if, class, fitness classes if you're into that they even have a, a boxing ring in a lot of them and punching bags and stuff heavy bags so that's cool but the way they set it up is like a club like neon lights and a lot of popular music and kind of bad electronic music and it's funny because english is not a first language so uh, you'll see them bumping hip hop music and they're just fucking cursing up a storm, which is, which is hilarious to me. I, I mean, I be using my music anyway, or listen to podcasts, but mostly I listen to my own music. And uh, Fitness Factory, it's it's cool, man. It gets the job done. Um, they're everywhere. I, I want to say it's like the largest gym in Taiwan franchise. And uh, you just go in there. And when you go in there, you're gonna go talk to the the manager's gonna come out. And they have all these booths and stuff, like a kind of diner. Like picture the scene in, in um, Pulp Fiction, where Samuel Jackson and, and John Travolta are sitting there eating their breakfast. They have booths like that, and then the, the salesperson will come out and talk to you and try to negotiate uh, your contract, your membership contract with them. And uh, yeah, so and it actually, dude, all you got to do is. Tell them, like, you know, I'm here. This is what I want. I want... Because they're going to try to get you at least six months membership or 12 months membership. But if you tell them, like, I'm only going to be here for six months uh, and I want to pay, like, $40 at the most or whatever. Like, dude, they're not going to let you go because either they're going to let you go to a competitor and walk or they're going to have you at a little discount uh, at their gym. They're not going to want you to leave, most likely. So, like, the membership's about $30, 30 $35 to $40, I think. And um, and they usually try to get you with a contract with the, you know, use your credit card and whatnot. But if you're not into the credit card thing, there are public gyms you can use, like, for about $50 NT, which is like $1.30 each, you, each uh, visit, which it's okay. They have... Uh, they have a lot of the equipment and the machines. However, their free weights don't go up that high. Whereas at World's Gym, um, the free weights, you know, they go up just like an American gym or a Western uh, gym. You know, you can I can get your mog on there. And uh, so I started off at um, uh, World's Gym. And it's actually the first place I actually met like real Taiwanese people. Like 
like a real Taiwanese people. Yeah, they are real. They're not fake. They're not tofus. Uh, real Taiwanese people that became my, some of them became my friends, you know, so locals. Uh, and it was like one of the mockers, the biggest mogger there, and Michael, who looks like, I guess, like a Taiwanese Arnold Schwarzenegger, pretty jacked, bro. And uh, he just went up to me one day, say, hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Started talking to him. Come to find out, he spent a lot of time in Colorado. And now he's been back in Taiwan for a while. And he's kind of like, the, you know, the alpha uh, gatekeeper at the gym in terms of social circles and stuff, too. So he knew everybody. Everybody knows Mike. So yeah, he introduced me to all the, all the girls and, and the guys in his little clique. Click. Uh, and like a lot of us became friends and, and the, actually a lot of them are my uh, uh, regular customers at my restaurant so shout out to Michael man and um, that gym culture out there and I, I got pretty got to be pretty uh, pretty jack at world's gym going there I would go there um, pretty much six days a week and uh, I would just do a full body workout, use the machines and the and the free weights, and I had a I was able to go every day because I kept my volume kind of low most of the day, so I can go there every day and then push it some of the days. And I really enjoyed it there. It was nice, and it was just that um, I didn't want to go as far. And there was a new gym that that popped up. Um, by my house uh, it's called fitness fitness factory and it's a relatively new gym and it's really really nice new machines um, really clean probably cleaner than the world's gym uh, it's really cool and it's funny like not that I use these people but the trainers there are are pretty in good are pretty well um, versed in fitness. Uh, training it looks like because they look pretty jacked whereas in world's gym wow some of those people were fucking you wouldn't consider them trainers the way they look i'll just keep it at that you know so yeah and uh my brain's going all over the place right now um when i was talking about how the uh the the when they when they get you on sales try to get your to, to sign up for a membership the salesperson will take you to a booth like pulp fiction i was talking about world's gym the first gym i was at world's gym not fitness factory my current gym like if you look at that formosan forum formosan.com forum for foreigners and expats about taiwan there's a lot of complaining karen behavior about world's gym like people don't put them put the weights back all the time which is annoying uh, not but not the end of the world uh people the they try to scam you with their membership and all that maybe it's true maybe it's not but uh or maybe it's exaggerated the point is i had a good experience there it wasn't bad i had a nice shower they had they had nice machines there you know even cardio machines were good stationary bikes and uh treadmills my wife enjoyed the classes there it was never really crowded when I went because most of the times I go early in the morning. I think World's Gym opens up at, I want to say, 7 because the sun is out, actually. It's up to me. I want to go at f I want to go at 5, man. Like, when I used to do my Bikram yoga, I go at 5.30 a.m. But crack a dawn, get it over with. And that chi is up and powerful. But my current gym, Fitness Factory... It's, let me turn that fan off for a second. The fitness factory opens up at 6 a.m., which is great. So I, I just get in there, you know, do my steady state cardio, and hit the hit the weights, and I'm Gucci. <laughs> fitness factory is interesting, because you see a lot of these, because Taiwanese culture, like, the gym is, I think it's relatively new here. Hitting the gym is relatively new here, because it's a Western thing. So... A lot of people who are more into the, the Western way of life here, which is the younger people, uh, they go there, and you see a lot of you see a lot of moggers, man. You see a lot of people who are have the aesthetic. A lot of dudes that have like look like bodybuilders, except they're like most of them are super short. 
you know, which some bodybuilders are, but it's interesting. And then you get um, you get the <laughs> you get the girls there, man, and a lot of them are hitting the the stair climber, the squat rack, using that rubber band around their legs, and they're just straight trying to manufacture that ass out here, man. Ah, that ain't no joke. They're serious with that, man. And they wear those. No, it's like a, I'm going off right now, but fucking I'm gonna spurg out. It's, it's interesting. They wear the. Everyone's wearing these. These girls are wearing these uh, uh, crop top or midriff tops now at the gym. It's like a thing, right? And I saw this one girl. She had like pants, and they looked like they were flesh cone, flesh tone. They were like peach color or beige, beige like their skin of. Uh, of some of the people here. I was like, what the fuck? Are you naked or something? Anyway, I'm thinking too much. I need to concentrate on working out. That's a distraction. We're trying to get yoked. We're not trying. We are getting yoked. And if you want to get yoked and shredded, come to Taiwan, hit a fitness factory, or you can go outside. A lot of the, the, the gym equipment uh, out here outside of the park it's catered to calisthenics there's pull-up bars there's dip bars i mean you can get your swole on get a kettlebell kettlebell right swing that motherfucker to the to the moon and back because that's one thing about taiwan taiwan is it's dope and western and all that but for some of us who used to like to uh partake in the california lifestyle you know, kind of like Snoop Dogg and stuff. That shit ain't flying out here. So you gotta find another thing to be addicted to. And I have to say, working out is a very good addiction to have. And there's a lot of gyms out here, like um, traditional and also like um, newer avant-garde technology with like the bands and all that and the breathing and the yoga out here. There's something for everybody to get addicted to in a good way. So check out the gyms out here. Just like we had in the previous video about finding an apartment in our house. Walk the streets, hit the vlogs, hit the, hit the web and look for um, the search, you know, how to find a gym, gym culture in Taiwan. Some of these YouTubers have some videos too already and figure it out. Use Taiwan as a, as a way to get reconnected to yourself. It's a little slower out here. So you can work on the things you were neglecting back home. Special, special, special shout out to Shift. Black Scale. Caduceus. <laughs> Caduceus. Self-made. The deacon, as we said. My man, my brother. Literally, he's my brother. Brian MacMillion. Use his government name. It's okay. AKA Leo Truth, the guide. Man, I need to come home, bro, and visit. Shout out to Benjamin, little B. R to the C. You know who you are. Love you, babes. I'll talk to you later, guys. Peace. Black skin in Taiwan. Tony Bruno, I see you, player.
Bye-bye.